Hello and welcome to Kendall. So I'm starting the ride from today and started with a pretty brutal climb. <laughs> it's a climb up and out of Kendall. Oh, I'm going to start this uh, shortish ride I'm doing today. Just reaching the edge of town now. Whew. Tough climb this first one. Just got out of Kendall and the road plateaus for a little bit as it approaches the uh, Kendall Bypass which we're going to uh, cross over on the bridge. But the, uh, the weather's been a bit funny today. I started off without a coat and then it started drizzling. So I put my coat on and it stopped drizzling. I was contemplating taking the coat off again and now it started raining again. So I think it's going to be one of those days where you never quite get the right lay on. <laughs> Just come off the uh, main road and uh, onto this track called Gamble's Meyer Lane and just to the side of it is this tree with these fruit on them. they look like blueberries but I think they're actually damsons which are uh, a grown native species in Cumbria I think um, you get them in damson gin and damson jam and stuff like that this one's full of fruit So yeah, on the first off-road section of the ride, Gambles Myers Lane, and it's this nice byway, which has uh, taken us away from Kendall, heading kind of west, northwest. We're just skirting the edge of um, the Lake District today, and it's a, a nice kind of blue graded cross country route and little bits of limestone along here a bit greasy with this moisture in the air Went then. <laughs> Just start a slight laugh, loss in grip for half a second then. Morning. Thank you. I oh, know, I'm not, I've got my timing all wrong here, haven't I? <laughs> Cheers. Nice, easy riding this. Ever so slightly downhill. With a few undulations. This section's a bit luckier. Very slick today. Greasy <laughs> layer of leaves from the we are at the beginning of autumn. Ah. This is nice and atmospheric down here. Feels like an old way. Turned into a hollow way this, which uh, is a good sign it's a very old track being uh, hollowed out by hundreds of years of use. Makes for quite good riding as well. Uh, uh, where's this going? Yeah, it's, uh... Or this track? Yeah, because yeah, well, we've just walked down it, so we were oh, thinking, okay. where's this road going? <laughs> well, um, 
think if you go that way, it takes to um, Underbarrow. Yeah. Okay. And then that way is Big Steer, I think. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, so we back it's been it's been about ten years since I did this, so my, yeah. my brain's a bit foggy like the weather. But. Yeah. Some uh, easy cruising down this country lane, but only for a few minutes. I'm about to uh, head off road again. Up here, which is a uh, public bad eye. A little overgrown at the sides, just that time of year. This descent. <laughs> really slippy. Oh. The countryside here is so quiet, peaceful. It's peaceful. Really off the beaten track. Okay, just gone there uh, onto another lane. Bit of a stream crossing coming up. It's not too bad at the minute because it's been fairly dry. But that can be a bit of a torrent at times, and there is a little bridge there to use. It's quite undulating this, it's with a few uh, sharp kick ups every now and again. Typically, um, I decided it hadn't rained for a while, so I uh, took my coat off because it's a bit boil in the bag and it started drizzling again now. <laughs> it's not too bad though, so I'll try and persevere without the coat for a bit. Essentially what we're doing is circumnavigating a small hill called Bell Hill, which is that one over there. and. Uh, on quite good tracks, these are all bridleways. It's quite uh, straightforward riding. This one. Couple of little features to pop off. It's a single track now. Really 
really nice sections of single track on this part of the ride oh, oh. Ah. and some not, not so nice nettles <laughs> opened into a farm field now uh, just following this fairly obvious track Knock you down here. Oh, went sideways then. Bramble City that <laughs> We come from down there and there's the church There's the old school Don't think it's a school anymore I found a nice bench to have a snack No sandwich of the day today because I forgot to make one in my rush to get out so I've got a uh, little kind of porridge bar I no, highly recommend these, these are lovely. Crown field raspberry and honey. Some raspberries, end of season. Mm, they're really sweet. These are nice. Don't call them raspberries, I meant blackberries, <laughs> obviously. is on the bar. Very nice little village to the west of Kendall. Up there, that hill's called Scout Scar. It's really nice for walking up there. Like a bit of a limestone outcrop. There's a pub here called the Black Labrador. It used to be called the Punch Bowl at one time. A bit of tarmac cruising now, making our way south. Got Scout Scar to the left, and just uh, rolling down these quiet lanes. Doesn't tend to get much traffic down here, so quite nice and pleasant tarmac riding. Well, a steep climb now on the edge of Brigsteer. This is quite a tough one. Still climbing. Here's a tough one, this one. Come off the road at last. On this very nice track. After a short rest, the uh, track is climbing again. Still climbing. It's a big climb this one. <laughs> when you add in the tarmac stuff for the first half and then all the off-road in the second half. It's a fairly chunky climb. 
just got to the top and hit this uh, wide track. It's quite easy riding towards this church now. So there's the church over there and it's normally got a spectacular view over the um, Lye Valley and more Estuary, well the Kent Estuary, Morecambe Bay and Whitbarrow Scars over there somewhere so <laughs> you can't see a lot today. It's all murked in. I'm all by the way. Hello girls. Nice day. Not really, is it? No. At least it's not windy. Another big lime kiln over there in that field. Lime was used quite a lot for um, agriculture to kind of fertilise the ground. This track's been concreted over. Which uh, I don't particularly like, but it does make it fast rolling. <laughs> Back to an unmade surface. In the hollow way this. Whoa, skittery. single track, a bit overgrown at the top, not so bad down here, kind of foot high here So I've just come down that single track. It's a bit narrow in places um, because at the time of year the nettles are quite high and the bushes are, are out a bit. Could all do with a bit of a prune. Um, so hopefully that'll get done soon. But I think if you came, say late spring, that'd be a good time to to do the shrine. Wouldn't have those problems. I'm just dropping down now to meet a busy road. So if you do this ride, just need to be a bit careful here because this is where traffic comes off the main bypass. And heads into Kendall. Okay, coming back into Kendall now, and the end of the ride. Um, it's good fun, I enjoyed that. It's a, um, a blue route, a few uh, little moments to think about, but generally it's quite easy going and uh, just good cross country riding. Um, just a few places that are overgrown at the moment, but that's just the time of year. So all in all, quite a fun morning. Alright, thanks for watching and see you next time.